Right. So uh, yesterday in the last session, we discussed about uh, uh, the test suits and all that, right? So we had discussed about uh, uh, importing, etc., all that. And today, uh, even uh, we have created even a project also, right? So, so projects and all everything were created. Where in today's session, we are going to discuss about uh, the creating a new workspace, especially whenever we are working on SOAP. Because uh, SOAP in detail, which is called Simple Object Access Protocol, which is majorly used SOAP as well as uh, RESTful and all everything, are majorly used to uh, uses uses uh, use in uh, API integration. Whenever you want to develop a communication between two different applications, different different APIs we use like SOAP API, RESTful, Web API, all that will be used. In this regard, it's always important for us to create a new workspace, especially when we are working on the projects. So to create a workspace here, here you can see, go to file, here you can see there is an option called new workspace. And we have two different things. One is about new workspace at the same time switching the workspace. But when we are working on the project as fresh new, it's always important for us to create a new workspace over here. Here you can see new workspace. Here we need to give a workspace name. For example, um, backend, okay, backend team. Okay. For example, this is a workspace which I am going to create, backend team and all. This is what something which uh, normally I am creating, right? So whatever the backend team workspace and all everything, we can save it. So save all projects before you are switching the, switching the workspace, wherein I am just clicking on save. So automatically, this will be saved in this. This here you can see there is uh, there is an uh, is the workspace which was created on. Uh, back in team. Okay. So here you can see this is how generally uh, the workspaces and all everything will be created for any project because multiple projects we can work it on SOAP UI, right? So multiple projects we can work, not only one, multiple projects we can work. For every project, there is a separate workspace which is to be, which is required for us to create. So this is what something which normally here we have created, which is considered and called as a navigator. Now, if you want to import any kind of project from an external resources and all everything, we can create. That is that is also can be done. So this is how generally the workspaces we have to create. Once the workspace is created, the next is about the preferences. Because these preferences, this is where generally these settings we have to make. Because being into technical side, whenever we try to understand about the technology, whenever you're trying to understand about the settings part, there are different different settings which we have to do. Something like HTTP settings we have to do. Uh, at the same time, or else if you want to perform any kind of proxy settings, or else if you want to do any kind of SSL settings, or WSL settings, or else UI settings. If you because UI settings are important because for example, order projects, everything should be on the alphabetical order. So these settings are important. So performing these settings, especially when we are working on the projects is always important, right? So these settings are all something which is essentially important when we are creating it. So how to perform the settings and how to make it because this is something useful nowadays uh, for even for business analyst roles, even technical business analyst roles are also important. Even technical BAs at the same time, people who are working on the development side, these people should have a complete understanding over these things well in advance. Then it is helpful to them forever for the, to retain their uh, to retain their uh, work uh, environment, right? So if they want to retain themselves in the work environment effectively, so even creating the workspaces at the same time, performing some settings and all everything were also needed. So how to perform the settings and all everything that I am going to discuss in the next session. Okay, right. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.